Hey guys, today we get to talk about weds versus online trolls. And for someone who spends a lot of time on Twitter, he doesn't make that many YouTube videos. Hint, hint. And anyway, I thought I would read him, read some of the interesting tweets and what he's been doing since the medical emergency. I love you more. You do not. Receipts. Whoa, toxic. So obviously show me the receipts is Jeremy's way of telling Wedge that he should show people where the donations went. This is something a lot of YouTubers do not do. Uh, even during the monthly magic box, the monthly magic box, they never said they were sponsored. They only received a free box. Now I would make the argument that even receiving free stuff would mean you should tell your subscribers you're sponsored. This, Tolarian and Wedge both disagree with me, as did Rocks and Boxing and the majority of YouTubers at the time receiving the free monthly magic box, which ended up scamming people and is still one of the biggest magic scams today. Same with Puka Trade. When their videos came out, it did not say sponsored. I would argue, even if they did not receive money, the fact that they were receiving Puka points, that should say sponsored. To show me the receipts isn't something that I think is so illogical. Weds laughs it off as if it is a joke or a meme or something that is not relevant. But you have to understand the magic community, Pico Trade, the monthly magic box, they have done this time and time again. Fundraisers, playmats, where does all this money go to? Like, hmm. Somewhere someone is making a video about these messages claiming the marriage is a fraud. It's not me. So, yeah, because you met a person the first time at GP Vegas and now you're already married. I was an immigration attorney and I did a lot of H-1Bs, green cards. This is pretty ridiculous. Like, this is almost like the people who get a translation company and they go off to Romania and they meet someone, except in that case, there's actually 60 days to figure out if they want to get married. In this case, they just got married. I don't know if the it's an actual marriage or something else. I have a lot of trouble sleeping with this back pain and my new wife, I'm almost certain this is an actual marriage, is back in England for a few weeks. This is the first time I've been alone in a month. I'm pretty sure he lives with his parents in his basement, in their basement. You can care for him all you want. Selling cards and not sending them and refusing to refund makes him a bad person. Bullying makes him a bad person. Taking advantage who think he is a good person makes him a bad person. Do you not believe in the power of redemption? <laughs> okay, so America is all about second opportunities, third opportunities. Alex Bertini is a very good example of a person who is on his third opportunity who has not really changed. I'm of the mindset that if you, if you rely on other donations as your main source of income, you can never get off it because it's too easy. You're not used to hard work. You're not used to a nine to five. Many of these magic celebrities do, have never worked a nine to five job. Tolarian Community College's job previous to quitting it, quote, quitting it was a part-time college professor, part-time. And I would argue that he didn't do that job very well because he was at a community college. He didn't publish papers. He didn't do research. Like, you got to try like you have to work hard. You don't get reality will eventually come and bite you. Maybe not right now. But the medical thing is a big chump. But let me put it this way. If you have medical problems, you should exercise. Now, I'm not making fun of people's weight. I, this is totally a different argument. Like I was talking to my friend and she is you know, I think I told her that she should exercise and she's not offended. She's like, yeah, good idea. And then my company, my season employee, we paid for the gym membership 
and now she goes to exercise, but she didn't become offended by it and say, oh, well, you're making fun of me. You're offending me. No, I mean, I want her to be part of this company for 25, 50 years. 50 is probably a lot. But, you know, we have been going from company to company together. And that's when someone really cares about. It's not on its face. And a lot of this stuff that uh, and this encouragement the mana source is getting is people who don't care about him, people who don't know who he is, and he's listening to this advice. Not a single one of these people told him to get health insurance. It's still not certain if he has health insurance. right? If you raised $80,000 for a medical-related thing because you didn't have health insurance, shouldn't your first action be to show a receipt of you buying health insurance? My health insurance, uh, Blue Cross, sends me stuff every month. They just sent me a new medical card. You don't need to, you know, put your medical ID and stuff or group ID, but you could at least show that you have a medical card. I remember your handle. You really hate me. Why? What are things I've done that have angered you this much? What deals have I not been made good on? So this is a guy just trying to talk to him and eventually they work it out. But this is the abrasiveness. This is the um, nature of the of weds this he's always been this way ever since i known him and let me get back to why i'm going to be very mean uh in this video and maybe in future videos to uh this particular issue i met him i think in 2012 2013 under another channel called new law student and i was actually larger than him and he would post on my he would just post like hello or like just ridiculous stuff on the comments because at that time the YouTube algorithm was if you posted on other larger channels you people could subscribe to you and he did this to all the large channels at the time and yeah that was whatever I made a promotional video for him and that was also whatever but he, at the time he was living at his parents so he would live stream with us uh, from his parents basement I have always said this to my workers, my interviewees. Actually, we're not hiring right now. We're fully staffed for at least until September when we lose our interns. You need a plan. Your plan cannot be I'm living in my parents' basement forever. It's okay to live in your parents' basement. That's fine. Stuff happens. But you need a plan to you know, get a job, to get better at that job. And all I've ever heard from Weds is excuses, excuses, IBS, but then he can travel to GP Vegas, back pain, but then he can travel to GP Vegas, Star City Con. He can, if properly motivated, the guy can actually, if you can travel, you can work a nine to five, right? Traveling is incredibly stressful. Uh, we, I used to travel to San Francisco all the time, and I never enjoyed it. I never had a good time, and I never, you know, you're sleeping in hotel beds or just random places. But I did it because it was my job, and I got better. I got better and better at what I'm doing, and that's not the case here. Wedge's magic videos have never really improved. He doesn't play the decks. It's very clear to me he doesn't play the decks because he doesn't have a local game store to play the decks in. So when he's making a deck tech video, it's just a net deck. It literally is a guy reading off a Channel Fireball article of how to make a deck. So if you guys are into that stuff, and a lot of you are, a lot of you love that type of stuff, you gobble it up. And you, and then when I make my deck, my Filia deck, you guys be like, oh, well, that deck sucks. And... <laughs> It's an actual deck I play. I physically own the cards that I take to my local game store to play with, right? So yeah, it's not going to be optimal because real life, sometimes I don't want to buy those cards. Sometimes those cards are not available to me, so I have to substitute other cards. And sometimes my meta is kind of different from yours. That's how you know I actually play because my deck does not look like a net deck for many reasons. And sometimes it's even financial that I don't want to pay uh, for Jace Vin's Prodigy, I don't want to pay $100 for that card. So I'm running, you know, just more Falias, I guess. 
So that's my biggest criticism is there's no plan here. The plan is to continue to get donations until you can't. But what happens when you can't? Magic is not a growing card game. Talk to someone who's 10 to, tw 10 to 12. When I was 10 to 12, Magic was the end all be all for nerds. Now they got Minecraft, they have League of Legends, they have Dota, they have Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, they, they got Pokemon Go, they got Fire Emblem. I mean, I don't know how many people f play Fire Emblem, uh, but I do. Fate Grand Order. Like, there's so many other things. Nintendo Switch. Like, there's so many other better things for them to spend their time. It's all digital. If you had to create a company today and you had the option of being Hearthstone or a version of Hearthstone on paper, the investors would throw you out the building if you suggested that you go over a paper card game over a digital one they would throw you out the building. Anyway, that's my biggest pet peeve with uh, Wedge is, you know, I've been trying to be kind of nice to him, but I know a little bit more, like, we all know this Wedge character. Uh, we all have a friend or a frenemy or a acquaintance that is like Wedge at work. I, I see Wedges everywhere, pretty much. And it's the person who makes excuses after excuses. Oh, hey, this website is due. Well, you know, I got sick. Well, I had to pick up my parents from the airport. Well, I had to do this. I had to do that. I have IBS. I have back pains. And then you go on their Facebook, and this person with IBS and back pains is in GP Vegas at a really nice restaurant. And you're just like... And no videos are being produced, or no um, objectives are being met, no milestones are being hit. And you're just like, hmm, interesting. And we had this guy, his name was Sterling. Great dude, I really did like him. He was at my previous startup, which we sold for money. And, you know, he would always make excuses like, oh, you know, he has this problem and that problem, his kids are sick, and now his uh, wife is sick, and all. he had so many different problems in life. And then on his Facebook in the weekends, he's partying hard. He's like drunk, like crazy, right? He got in a, like, and that car that he said that like was broken, like he's driving it <laughs> in the weekend. So it's just like, okay, well, hmm, something's not quite adding up here. This guy who is not meeting any of these milestones is uh, having the time of his life on the weekends or... You know, it's the dude who says that he has a doctor's appointment on Wednesday, a full day doctor's appointment, a full day something to do. And then he posts on Thursday morning, like Facebook pictures of him totally wasted. Like that was thrilling. And we all know this dude who has, who makes excuses after excuses. And then eventually you cannot continue because you will lose your job. And for Weds and Tolarian, you cannot continue because this game is dying. Like, I want... The digital move to Magic Arena was very poor. I play lots of mobile games. I spend lots of money on mobile games. I would not spend a cent on Magic Arena because it sucks. Like, there's no other way for me to say it. A, as a person who is a whale and for mo mobile games, I would not spend a cent on Magic Arena. And that's, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. Anyway, bye guys.